community update and we have Brown County Sheriff Todd Delane with us. Now we have a lot of topics to cover. How has your department had to deal with the COVID-19 over the past few months? Well, we've had to make significant operational changes over the last few months, starting with the uh, jail. The jail, we had to completely reorganize our structure so that we uh, had a spot to quarantine individuals who were brought into the jail for 14 days before they went to general population. So it really started with the jail and ensuring that we had a spot where we could safely house individuals before they went to general population. And uh, then we ended up purchasing much, uh, a whole bunch of equipment related to sanitizing our facilities, whether it be our squad cars, um, our jail, so we bought a UVC machine, an ultraviolet light machine, and then we uh, bought electrostatic sprayers so that we can decontaminate things. As far as our patrol operations, uh, we certainly try to take some of the calls by telephone as much mm -hmm. as we can. We reduce the amount of time we spend in residence to lower our risk as, of exposure. And then uh, obviously practicing good social distancing, wearing masks, uh, gloves, uh, glasses if necessary depending on the scene we're at okay. and now as we move forward uh, we're preparing to open the courthouse so we're making adjustments within our courthouse to deal with the crowds that'll be in especially as it relates to jury trials and stuff like that where people will be compelled to uh, go to court okay. now you've had problems in the past with the county's dispatch system and now you're preparing for a new computer aided dispatch system tell us a little bit about that yes so um, the current system that the county uses has been in place for several decades and it's at the end of its life. And what I mean by that is the provider of it will no longer service it. So it's been patched together as much as it can or it can be. And uh, we, in 2018 into 2019, the county went to a new dispatch system. That system had uh, some issues, did not meet our expectations. Uh, we couldn't track our squad cars. Um, additionally, it was freezing up slow, and, and it really just wasn't effective. So we went back, started all over, and now here this fall we'll be rolling out that new CAD system, which we believe will definitely meet our expectations. Great. Now the Crime Prevention Foundation of Brown County and the Brown County Crime Prevention Funding Board are currently accepting grant applications from groups to help reduce crime. Tell us about these grants and who qualify. So the grants, there's two specific organizations, as you indicated, the Crime Prevention Foundation of Brown County, which has been in place for about 20 years, and then the uh, Brown County Funding Board, Crime Prevention Funding Board. And what they do is they look for organizations that are going to move programs or projects ahead that will reduce crime in the community. So uh, some of those things would be literacy, literacy programs, uh, youth activities, uh, anything related to domestic violence, OWI, speed, anything that we can do to help make our community safer. So um, it's an opportunity for uh, individuals to get money to uh, pilot these programs and get them started to make our community better. Okay, um, now your department was on hand when one of the protests turned violent. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, yes. So. Um, we were available in assisting the Green Bay Police Department uh, during the protests on, on May 31st that went into June 1st. And um, after shots were fired at the Ma uh, Marathon gas station, Sheriff's Office sent a crew to that location to assist in uh, securing the area. And it was at that time uh, where we had several of our squad cars damaged in the, in the amount of over $16,000. All right, now National Night Out is coming up. What is planned for that? So uh, normally National Night Out would occur in the summer. However, because of uh, COVID-19 concerns, that nationwide has been moved to October 6th. Uh, we have two locations for the Sheriff's Office where we'll be doing that. The first will be uh, conducted at uh, for Bellevue and Alloway, which will be at the Willow Creek Park over by Willow Creek Bo Golf Course, or Will Creek Bowling Alley at Verlin and Guns Road. So we have that location. And then the second one will be in Swamico for the Sheriff's Office and that's at Mount Olive Church. So we have two events, great opportunity for people to get out, meet their neighbors, uh, find out who their neighbors are, talk to police. And really it's an opportunity just to get together and uh, 
really talk to people in your community. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, Sheriff. We really appreciate your time. Well, let's.